Hi everyone, myself Navyata Ravi, working as assistant professor in MLR Institute of Technology in Cybersecurity and Data Science Department. In today's session, we are going to discuss about conceptual design with ER model. So, the overview of this concept includes entity versus attribute, entity versus relationship, binary versus ternary relationship and aggregation versus ternary relationship. So, before going to know about this concept, we need to be thorough about what is entity, what is attribute, what, is, what are the types of relationships. So, that we all discussed in the previous sessions. To consider a particular diagram, it is purely based upon the application or the design, whatever you are going to develop. So, here we used to add one more attribute, one more entity duration and for that entity, I have represented the attributes from two and in the diagram, in the above diagram here, we have only two entities and the attributes are represented to the relationship itself as a descriptive attributes that is also correct. But we, if at all we have many more number of large volumes of data, then we can, we can prefer the second one. That is what we call as entity versus attribute, whether we should uh, consider a particular concept as an entity or an attribute. The second thing is entity versus relationship, whether we should design a concept as an entity or a relationship. Let us consider uh, this one with an example. Here in this diagram, we have two entities, customer borrows loan, right? Customer borrows loan and customer have some attributes and loan have some attributes and an alternative model. See here, customer, the loan here, which is considered as an entity, in the second diagram, it is considered as an relationship. It is considered as an, both are same, both are not same, but both can be considered. It depends upon the application that you are going to develop. So, here the customer borrows loan from some different branches, right? So, the same, the same object what you are going to represent, that can be considered as an entity and that can be considered as an relationship too. That is the uh, reason why we have represented here entity versus relationship. It purely depends upon the database application that you are going to develop. So, customer which bor who borrows loan from different branches and here the loan contains loan number and amount. Loan number and amount. Here in the first diagram, the loan is considered as an entity. In the second diagram, the same loan can be considered as a relationship with the attributes. What are those attributes called as descriptive attributes, right? The next one, binary versus ternary relationship. So, what is binary relationship? If at all a relation contains two, two entities exactly, then it is called as binary relationship. And a relationship contains exactly three entities, then it is called as ternary relationship. So, here which one we used to consider, right? That is the uh, concept here, binary versus ternary relationship. So, in these two, what is binary relationship? What is ternary relationship? A relationship that has only two entities, one, two, that is what we call as binary, binary relationship. A relationship can have three entities, employees, duration, departments, it is called as ternary relationship. So, we can consider any of these uh, two models, any of these two ER models. Here, by while considering the first one, employees works in departments and the to know about the duration from which date to which date, whether that employee works, that will be considered here with the help of descriptive attributes. And in this diagram, the duration period of the employees will be maintained in a separate entity set as a separate entity set with the attributes from two. That is the basic difference between binary versus ternary relationship. So, if at all we want the data clear cut in a clear cut manner and uh, if at all we used to maintain some large volumes of data, then we used to prefer ternary relationship. And the last one is aggregation versus ternary relationship. In the last video, we have discussed about what is aggregation, right? So, here uh, aggregation is nothing but as I said to relate uh, to particular set of entities or uh, to relate to entities, right? So, what should we consider? 
whether we should consider aggregation uh, type of ER model or else ternary relationship. Let us discuss with these two examples. Same example here. Employees monitors projects sponsored by the departments. Employee monitors projects sponsored by the departments. So, we, ha we have here three particular entities, employees, projects, departments and only single relationship that is what we call as monitors and sponsors. Right. So, coming to the aggregation, this is what we call as aggregation and this is what we call as ternary relationship. Why? Because as I said, a relationship contains exactly three entities that is called as ternary relationship. So, here aggregation. See, employee monitors, employee monitors projects sponsored by the departments, which is more clear than considering this ternary relationship, which can be aggregation is meant for a meaningful ER model. Rather than considering ternary, binary, unary relationships, aggregation will be more meaningful. So, here employees, the entity employees, monitors, this is one big entity which contains, which itself contains entities and relationships. So, employees, monitors, projects sponsored by the departments and here each and every entity has its own set of attributes and the relationship may also contain the attributes which the, those attributes are called as descriptive attributes. So, till now we have discussed four different types of conceptual design with ER model. So, what are those things? Nothing but entity versus attribute, entity versus attribute. Second one, entity versus relationship, entity versus attribute, entity versus relationship, binary versus ternary relationship and the fourth one is aggregation. This is the one, aggregation versus ternary relationship. So, whatever the ER model that you are going to uh, opt, that will be purely depends upon the model or else uh, the project that you are developing. Entity versus attribute, whether you should consider a particular concept as an entity or an attribute. And the second one is entity versus relationship, whether you are modeling a particular project and in that particular project, the particular object can be considered as an entity or a relationship. Whether you are modeling a particular uh, project, you have to consider that object as a binary or else ternary. And the last one is aggregation versus ternary relationship. So, this is all meant for conceptual design with the ER model. Thank you.